chromatographic separation of amino acids, glutamic acid and glutamine. We have to pipe it 150 microliters of the mixture of two amino acids, glutamic acid and glutamine, onto the chromatographic column. and let the solution flows in to the chromatographic column completely. The next step is to add one milliliter of distilled and deionized border very slowly to the chromatographic column. And again, let the solution completely flows in the column. Now transfer the chromatographic column to the test tube number two and add the new aliquot of one milliliter of distilled water above. and let the solution flow in again. Finally, transfer the chromatographic column to the test tube number three and repeat the procedure, but now we have to pipe it one milliliter of acetic acid. and wait for the solution to flow in. So when the elution of acetic acid is completed in the test tube number three, we should return our chromatographic column to its initial test tube and fill it with distilled water and put a stopper on. To prove the presence of amino acids in these three test tubes, we should pipe at one and a half milliliter of ninhydrin reagent into each test tube. After mixing the test tubes, they should be placed in hot water for a few minutes. And wait for the blue color to develop which is the result of the reaction of amino acids present in a solution with ninhydrin reagent. Uh, after boiling the solutions for a couple of minutes, here are the results. In the test tube number one, we can notice the development of the blue color, which, it, which proves the presence of one amino acid, in this case glutamine, in the test tube number one. 
In the test tube number two, we can notice that it's colorless, meaning that neither of those two amino acids is isolated in this. And finally, in the test tube number three, again, we may notice the development of blue-pink color, which proves the presence of another amino acid. In this case, this is glutamic acid.